Ladies and gentlemen, it is Tony from Lomo Paintball, and today I am bringing you the die comparison. We've got the i4, we've got the i4 Pro, and the die i5 goggle. And why? Because who's the best source for paintball? LoneWolfPaintball.com. They said it. They said it already. Um, yeah, we got the original i4, we've got the upgrade i4 Pro, and then we've got the Mac Daddy, we've got the die i5 goggle. We're just going to kind of go down the line features of each, what they're similar with, and what their differences are. So, start with the four, move on up. Well, I know something they all have similar, and we just get out of the way. What is it? The same lens. That is true. They all take, I, did, I do like that because obviously if you guys have one of the originals or any one of these, they're all interchangeable lenses, so that is going to save you money at the end of the day. So, lenses are all the same. I don't know anything else, so it's on you now. All right, here we go. So you're looking here with the original i4 versus the Pro. Hmm, Mark, does the front look the same to you? It's close. There's one little difference. One little thing. It doesn't have the die emblem. So the original 4 has the nice die emblem. This one's just molded right into the goggle. Obviously, not the biggest deal in the world, but that is a difference. There's a little something shiny on the red, too, on the i4 Pro. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to turn it. Turn it this way. You're talking in this region. Yeah, that the the uh, original four does not have. So they got a little little outer cosmetic uh, touches that they've added to the pro that the original don't have. And then of course, obviously the fronts with the die i5. Um, it is going to be a little bit bigger, so you're going to have a little bit more protection up in this area. And then for the ventilation purposes, you're also take a different little look here in that area compared to the uh, Pro and also to the original one as well. So if you're looking ventilation around, you're gonna see, you're gonna see that difference. Next up, Mark, here we go. You wanna talk about some foam or you wanna cover some other things? Well, you know, there's, there's a selling feature that everybody kinda knows about, but that's the big deal about the i4 Pro. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay, so we're just gonna go right to the GSR Pro strap. Let's just turn this bad boy right on around. You've got your normal goggle strap. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. These runs retail 160 bucks for the original i4. Now, we're gonna flip the i4 Pro around. You're gonna notice the GSR Pro strap on here that obviously that one does not have. This is the biggest upgrade to this goggle by far. Uh, it's called the tension control system on here. This dial, you can loosen it or you can tighten it once that bad boy's on the back of your head. Mark, I'm just gonna just gonna throw this on. Yeah. You think this it's not gonna look good? It's meant for uh, you know the smaller snake guys, but we'll see if we can't get this bad boy on. You'll always be a snake guy to me, Tony. Let's go. Throw that bad boy on and in the back. Can you see it, Mark? I can. Okay. Dial in and up the knob turn it or you can loosen it to get the goggle off fancy it is fancy so it's a great feature i remember when the i5s first came out with these um, people absolutely loved it it's probably one of the best goggle enhancements on the market in my opinion wait so if you spin that i5 around just spin them all around let's see all the, oh. the backs of all of them one one two, two three of course the i5 has it i mean yeah. It's a top-notch goggle that die offers. So, um, and speaking of that, why we got all spun around, you got your manual and your sticker, got your manual and your sticker. Manual and sticker, but it also has, it has this little piece right there. That's the GoPro mount. So the i5 comes with that plastic mount. Um, so you can kind of put it on. I believe you can mount it on the side and the top, right? I believe so. Okay, so yeah, but it does have that. Gonna turn them back around. Let's talk about, okay, we'll, we'll get the ear pieces side to side. Got a nice kind of uh, different material. It's pretty hard here. It obviously is gonna do the job stopping a paintball from going into the side of your ear. Little bit different on the Pro. Kind of same concept, but this one's more flexible and cushy, but still gonna protect the ear. And then the five, looking over here, it's a little bit, it's gonna give you once again, a little bit more protection. And this one's more like a fabric. So they, between the four, the i4 Pro and the five, it's all different. So very interesting uh, move them. We're going back. Okay, finally, for the third time. We're gonna talk about the foam now. 
foam on the inside of the i4. Wait, before we get, just oh. kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're gonna do this again. Foam on the inside of the i4. Uh, it is very soft and comfortable, but sadly, at the end of the day, if it's got too sweaty, beat up over time, or your dog happened to eat it, you're gonna have to buy a new foam kit and you're gonna have to literally rip this stuff out. It is not quick change. Buy the foam kit and super glue it back in yourself. And actually the glue does come in the new foam kit. So same with the i4 Pro. It's not quick change foam. So you're gonna have to, when it goes bad, it's all beat up and tattered. You're gonna have to rip it out and super glue in your new foam with the kit. But luckily for the i5, this does have the snap-in foam. So these ones are brand new there. Yep, but there you go. You can literally take the entire foam out real quick, change, and buy a new kit if you needed to, and slap it right on back in. So obviously we're talking $160 to $180 to $200. So there's a difference, $20 up and up and up the line. So I do like that. Speaking of kind of foam and the way you can change the lens, um, on the inside, you won't probably be able to see it. I'll do it with the red one. So the change of lens system on the 4 and the i4 Pro, same exact way. There is a tab on the inside. Like I said, Mark, I don't know if you're gonna be able to get in there. Anyways, you're gonna push this tab. I've done a lens changing video on this goggle before. There's a small tab in here. You push it down, slide it forward, and then you can actually get, let's see if I can't get it to unlock. Push it in, slides forward, and then uh, you can actually, you can see in there that it unhinges, do the same on the other side, and then the lens slides out the front of the goggle. On the actual die i5 itself, a little bit trickier. There's a button here, and there's a button directly below underneath. They have to be pushed down, slid um, forward, and then these blue hinges both of this blue hinge here and this blue hinge, they'll come inward toward the goggle and then you'll be able to get the lens out of the front. So definitely changing the lenses on these are completely different. So you got blue hinges that are gonna hinge inward and then the lens will slide out the front. And then on these ones, it's a push tab. So like I said, if you need to know how to change the lens in any of these goggles, I do have videos on all of them. Ah, oh, chin straps. Chin strap here, you're very, very basic. Chin strap, there's no little velvet or anything. i4 Pro, same exact chin strap used. And then the five, same chin strap, but just a little nice little uh, velvet covering so it's nice and soft under the bottom of your chin. Now I will point out that uh, the chin straps are removable on these. It's just a little yes. piece you just slide over and they pop right off. Mm -hmm. um, not very convenient because it's, it's a proprietary system. So it's not like you can throw a push one on there, super simple, but you do have at least the option to remove it. That's exactly right. Um, yeah, I mean, other than the strap, so the lens is the same, foam is different, the way they actually change the lens is also different. Strap, the GSR Pro Strap, GSR Pro Strap, and the no Pro Strap there. Overall, let me give them one last look, Mark. So overall, if you guys wanted to know the big difference for me between the 4 and the Pro, it's the strap. And obviously you're moving up to the i5 with a nice, you can do the quick change foam instead of having to tear it out. Uh, different lens chain system, a little velvet strap down here, and it's a little bit bigger. But overall, the die, the die line, they're all very, very similar. The strap is what makes a difference though. So would highly recommend if you've never tried one of these, uh, the GSR Pro straps on, super, super comfortable. This dial in the back definitely makes the goggle. And if you guys wanna see any other comparisons, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget, as always, it is lonewolfpaintball.com. And uh, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all the other platforms. And Mark, do you have anything else to say? Yeah, let us know in the comments if you wanna see this i4 Pro up against any other mass, and maybe we'll do a comparison in a later video. Take it easy, guys. See you later. Goodbye.